Anyway, well, one of the great things about doing this job is that you come across all sorts of football bits and pieces. And the money. The, the money. money. Yeah, that, uh, right. That's great. Sort of. uh, but one of the things that we found when we were filming in Europe, we were in Frankfurt Airport. We were doing a Phoenix. We were in Frankfurt Airport, and there is, in Frankfurt Airport, a sex shop. It's true, isn't it? Called, uh, it's true enough. You know, if you want an Arabian strap desperately or a colour climax to fix you on the plane. People obviously haven't been in that many sex shops then. No, I'd get on. Yeah, okay. get on. <laughs> Stato starting to sweat profusely. <laughs> <laughs> At the very fray sex shop. Yeah. It's, uh, it's called Dr. Muller's, actually. It's there, it's not Gert Muller's, obviously. Um, and in there, we found this, which is a packet of football condoms. You see that? Genuine packet condom Stato, you must have heard of him. <laughs> Poor Stato started yeah. off with a terrible roasting. Now, we haven't opened these. We genu genuinely haven't opened these. This could, they could be rubbish, but they're called football condoms, so they yeah. could be brilliant. Yeah. They're hermetically sealed. Look at this. So it just give us 45 minutes yeah. to get this off. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I always try and make this last as long as possible when I'm with a woman, so she adds it on to the time of the lovemaking. <laughs> uh, You've got a very good memory. <laughs> right, here we go. You're shaking like a lake. Now, is this the football one? Because there's some plain ones in here, I think, as well. <laughs> no, no. It is the, this is the football. No, is that one. it? It's not even rat. <laughs> That's all. Let's hope it's empty, shall we? There it is. Ah, there it is. <laughs> oh, who's going to do the gag? That is. You can use this one to get in the box. Oh, oh. I thought. I thought. Shame I had... on you. Yep. It's good. It's got the laces, look, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a marvellous thing. Do you want to hold that? It's not as lubricated as it might be. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's a bit heavy duty, isn't it? Now, another thing that people, uh, people write in about is um, the thi this little man who stands on a... You, if you're going you. to play with that... <laughs> yeah, think, no. I thought it might come in useful. You never know. Mm. Um, Hello. Cool. So, People writing about this little man who's on, on, my, uh, on my coffee table most weeks and uh, say, what is that about? Well, this, um, obviously, is the Pope in West Bromwich Albion, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, th you don't like that. You don't like that. Not what you... Oh, dear. No, oh, dear. I feel an encyclical coming on now. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, it's a Catholic joke. All right. And, uh, <laughs> you say that's oh, a West Brom Pope, so I that one isn't infallible. That's another Catholic joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. I am sorry. Anyway, so this is the West Brom. And this, this is a, more, a woman called Rachel Matthews who comes from uh, London. You've heard of it. Um, <laughs> she makes these, and you can have them in any, in any team colours. We've got, we got some other ones. Says, actually, you can get the Pope goalie. Because the... <laughs> now, you know, the Pope was actually a goalie. Did yeah. you know that? that he he kept, was. He Very good gone. on crosses. <laughs> Hey. I've become a sort of a terrible Ernie Wise. <laughs> Not that there's any other kind of Ernie Wise, obviously. So there, there's the, you can get him as goalkeeper as well. And uh, I suppose he sort of came out like this, didn't he? You know, he used to... <laughs> and uh, can't, get him in any team colour, probably not. Probably not Rangers, mate, actually, come to think of it. <laughs> Unlikely. As I say, we, we also... A, a we, Rangers Pope that keeps chanting at itself, you know, you're, you're thinking, yeah. <laughs> Now, as you say, we also get sent, like, well, those are sent to us, we get sent lots of stuff. And uh, Ian Lofthouse, who, no relation of Nat or anything, he, uh, he's from Burnley, and he sent us something that he found in a flea market. It's a record. It's a genuine thing. And uh, he says that, he thinks that with this record, Man United have simply gone too far with their merchandising drive. <laughs> now, I'd like, to, I'd like to stress this, it's a real record, in case anyone thinks that's the most racist thing I've ever seen on the television. It's no, a I genuine think record. People are probably thinking, what, another new kit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's they going to charge? What's they going to charge for that added dicky bow? Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So there you go.